Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little pom-pom. Um, I don't know if you remember when you were younger, um, little pom-poms we used to make maybe for um, cheerleading. You could use um, all different kinds of material. You could use little fake yarn ones. When I was a little girl, I used to make them. Or you can use, um, I believe it was like cray paper. We used to make them too, all different kinds. Um, the ones that are made together typically are made with plastic, so they last longer. But they're really a cute little accent to your planner or to a card, to a gift, to whatever you think would work for you. Um, I was reintroduced to the pompons when I was at a crop last weekend. Um, Esther and Leticia, who are friends of mine, and I just love them dearly. They are amazingly creative. Had an awesome crop, and they're having another one in March. So if you're interested, shoot me a message and I'll get you in contact with them if you're in Southern California. Um, in the uh, LA-ish area. Um, they had a fantastic crop and so much fun. We, uh, we just had a blast. It was from nine to nine. And one of the amazing things that Esther taught us how to do was to make these little pom-poms. And I thought, oh my gosh, that would be a great tutorial. Cause I don't know if you remember how to do them or if you, um, maybe didn't know how to do them, but they're super duper easy and they're really cute for your planner or like I said, for a card, for a gift. Or if you know someone that's a planner, you could pop a few of these in the mail and they would just love it. So that's what we're gonna show you how to do. It's super simple. You only need a paper clip, um, some type of yarn, or I made a little twine one right here and I'll show you how I kind of like it, but not as much as I like the yarn one. And scissors, okay? I just put this on the, um, on my little planner so you can see how cute it looks. I'll give you a close-up shot. And again, we wanna thank Esther and Leticia for having the awesome crop so that I could think, hey, I'm gonna do this for a little tutorial. So we really appreciate them and how awesome and creative they are. So that's what these two little guys are right here. So I'm gonna take those off. Now, if you're wondering what this stamp set is, this is a great stamp set for your planner. So um, we call it a date to remember. It has all the months and the days in here and you can make little squares and things like that and do different things for your planners, for cards, for scrapbook pages, project life. Um, I did a tutorial um, uh, not too long ago to where you can actually make some cards that are ready to go um, with dates and things so that you can have those ready if you're going on a trip. So these are really versatile. Um, so make sure that you are a subscriber to our YouTube channel as well as our um, email and blog and you will be set up to win. If you subscribed at any time, you will be re registered to win. So make sure you are a subscriber to get our newsletter so you can check to see if you won. Anyway, so that is our awesome set. Doo -doo 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 -doo. As you can see, there's a lot of possibilities in this cute little set. Okay, so we've got that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these cuties off. I'm gonna give you a little closer up of those. Closer up, I'm not sure if that's really a word. But anyway, um, a close up shot of those. This I made with twine, okay? And I, I actually said to Esther, gosh, that'd be really cute if we made it with twine. It is cute, It because twine is typically pretty thin, it came out cute, I like it, it's cute. It kind of looks like a, um, like a pom-pom that you would use for cheerleading, so it'd be really cute for a cheerleader's planner, or for really anything. But I didn't like the fact that it just seemed like it wasn't as sturdy, maybe, or it just was a little bit thinner than I care for. I like them a little bit more thick and poofy, okay? So that's the one with twine. And like I said, it worked out. I just think I would have, I, I think I prefer it more with um, the yarn, okay? And this is the yarn that I used right here. This is the ball. So you can see what the actual yarn looks like. Okay, it's a little bit thicker, has a little bit of design to it, has some different colors running throughout it, okay? So it's pretty neat. Um, you can use this if, if you're a knitter, crochet, or whatever, you can use um, anything extra that you might have. You just might need a little bit of it. Now for this ball right here, um, I didn't use too much. I'll show you how I did it and how I counted. You don't have to count. I'm just counting for you guys so that you can at least have an idea if you've never done this before, how to get this done, okay? So I'm gonna put these aside, okay? Now the first thing I would suggest you do is you're gonna cut off a piece that's long enough so that you can tie off your cute little pom-pom, okay? So if you're planning on having a pom-pom like this size, you wanna make sure it's about that long. So it's better to have it too long than not long enough. So I'm just gonna cut an extra long piece like this. Now I'm telling you to do this 
beforehand because it's much easier to do it now while you have two free hands than when you have one that's occupied with yarn. So we're going to put this aside. Now the reason why we need a paper clip is because that's what you will be eventually attaching it to. You can attach it to a smaller one like I did here. Okay. Just a little close-up shot for you. Or you can attach it to a larger one like here. Now that may depend on whether what you plan on using it for, what you plan on gifting it for, etc. You may want to use it for a big planner, a small planner, and that would also depend on what size uh, paper clip you'd want to use. Okay? So with that, I am going to take this cool little ball of yarn, and I'm going to just use two fingers, because that's about the size I want to do, and I'm going to leave a little bit hanging off there, as you can see. Okay, so I'm just going to spread my fingers just a little bit, kind of like two little legs. Doot, doot, doot. <laughs> so like this, and you want to make sure you have a little bit of space in between here, okay? So we're just going to wrap it, and I wrapped it 25 times. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And as you can see, that's quite a bit of yarn. And that's okay. So we're just going to cut it right at the end here so it matches up. doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to do our own little haircut to our uh, little pom-pom later. Okay. So what you're going to do is kind of squish them together a little bit on both sides, there and there. And it's okay that that one's flopping over, no problem. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take this right here, this piece, and you're going to stick it in between your fingers, right in there. Okay, so I'm going to show you. We're just going to take this piece, and we're going to push it through. Okay, push it through our fingers. That's why you want to make sure you have some space, and you're going to pull it through. Okay, so that's how you get the string to go on one side and the other. All right, so we're going to take this piece. Whoopsie. See, that's one side of it. This is the other, and we're going to pull it, like so. So now we have this. I'm holding on. See how you need two fingers there? <laughs> so you're just going to take it like this. Now I have it wrapped around both sides, not just one, both. So you want to make sure you wrap it around this side and that side. And you're going to tie it super duper tight so that it is... Oops, I gotta tuck it back in there. Let me do that. Okay. Um, so you want it super duper tight so that when you make your pom pom, it stays together. So we're gonna tie it like this. Okay. We're just gonna simply cross it, put it right in through there. So you're just tying it like you would the beginning of a tying a shoe, and you're gonna pull it tight. But first, you're gonna take your fingers out, or else you're gonna get your fingers stuck. So you're gonna pull it super duper tight, like this super tight, okay? And then you're going to hold on to that and you're going to tie it one more time so it'll be in a knot, okay? So I'm sticking my finger in there, pull it through, and then pull it super tight. Now if for some reason you have like a little extra long one like I do here, that's fine, that's not a problem. We're going to be trimming it anyway. But before you do any trimming, what I would suggest you do is you take your paper clip of choice and you place it, you open it up just a little bit and you can either place it in the knot you just made or behind it. I am choosing to do it behind it, okay? Because you want to make sure that it's got a good place to hold on to so that it doesn't come undone. And we're going to stick that right in there. Here we go. Okay. So we've got that and I'm just going to pull it through and then through again. So it'll end up being like this. That's how we want our paper clip to look. Okay? Now I'm just gonna push that back in so it looks more like a paper clip. Because sometimes, you know, we need to bend these cute little things. So that's what it's gonna look like. See how that is? But first, we have to um, cut it up. So we're gonna take this. Now you could really leave it like this and make it like a little flower. It's kind of cute and make one in the middle with a pom pom. I mean, you could really leave it like that if you wanted to. It's kind of cute. I like it. But we're going to make a pom-pom, like I said. So all you got to do is cut along the edges. 
like so. And try not to miss any. Got a few missed right here. There we go. And so now we've got it kind of all fluffy. See how it's kind of fluffy? There's a few pieces coming off, which is expected. So now what you're going to do is you're going to give it a little haircut. Okay? So you're going to take your, your uh, paper clip and hold it the way you'd want to use it and give it a little haircut. So I'm just going to trim along here, like so, just to make it a little bit evenly rounded. So it doesn't look too floofy. Now, if you like it um, not perfectly rounded or you want it squared off or whatever you want, this is all personal preference. This is where your design choices come in. And you can choose to trim it or not. And again, um, this is just one of the amazing things we did at the crop. Um, Esther made an awesome book. It was just awesome. And Letitia did three awesome cards. Um, really, really cute projects, and it was all included in the amazing price. So, you know, you just can't really beat it. We had a great time, wonderful ladies, really a lot of fun, got some really awesome ideas, and really got some inspiration, so it was awesome to do. I was very fortunate that I was able to go. My kids and my husband encouraged me to go, so I was very blessed that way. So it was nice to have a little bit of mommy time with my friends. And I ended up going with two of our amazing creative crew members. And Letitia's actually a creative crew member. Um, but I went with Brandy and with uh, Rhoda. Brandy's not on our team anymore because she has gone on to a different endeavor with Stampin' Up, which I'm very excited her for. But um, she went with, and we had a great time. So I was really thrilled to have that girl time, like I said. So you can be picky like me and really trim it up, or you can leave it floofy. But it just seems like no matter how much I trim, I still find more pieces, right? Okay, I think this is good. So then you wanna kinda wipe it off a little bit so it can get rid of the little pieces that have been cut off and not um, trimmed off properly and didn't fall off yet. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this part off, put this back down, and Clean that off. Don't need any extra foofiness. So that right there is your adorable little pom-pom on a paper clip. Is that not the cutest thing? A huge thank you to Esther for reintroducing me to the pom-poms. I just think that's fantastic. And you know what else you could do? You could even create this at the bottom of a bookmark. So you could put this on a long string and then have two ends of it, almost like a scarf would, only with just one string. And you can make it so that it would be on one end and the other and place it inside your paper um, or inside your planner or inside a book for a friend, anything like that. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. Again, a thank you to Esther for um, introducing me to the pom-poms. I love the way they came out. They're really cute. You could use any type of yarn, any type of anything that you would want to do to make something that works for you. So please make sure that you're a subscriber to our blog and to our YouTube channel so that you can qualify to win this awesome stamp set right here. And I think you will love it. It's a lot of fun. And um, check out our website at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com and www.acjwm.com. And we thank you so much and check out our other tutorials and you will love them. Hope you have a great day and thank you again for going on a creative journey with Melissa. Bye-bye.